Meanwhile, the president of Sri Lanka is in Korea to celebrate 40 years of diplomatic ties between the two nations. Ahead of an official Chongwa Day welcoming ceremony, President Moon Jae-in went out to greet the visiting leader at one of Seoul's ancient Buddhist temples. Hwang Ho-jun has the details. The Sri Lankan president's first stop upon his arrival in South Korea was Chokesa Temple. And it was here that he was greeted by President Moon Jae-in. The Blue House said the two leaders went into the main temple together to pay their respects. Noting Sri Lanka's predominantly Buddhist culture, President Moon said South Korea and Sri Lanka have a lot of similarities. Sri Lanka is a country that represents a Buddhist c u l t 아, 불교가 국교였던 적이 있습니다. 그래서 아주 불교 어, 문화가 아주 융성했고 지금도 많이 남아 있는 어, 그런 나라이기 때문에 어, 그런 불교 문화를 공유한다는 점에서 양국 간의 공통점이 많이 있다고 생각합니다. Another commonality the South Korean president mentioned was the fact that both countries experienced colonial rule, a civil war, and democratization. President Moon also said they also share a similar governmental philosophy of putting people first, pursuing democracy and human rights, and rooting out corruption. The Sri Lankan president in return thanked President Moon for his invitation to Korea and called South Korea a friend of Sri Lanka. He also pledged to support Seoul in the international arena and to carry out the UN Security Council's sanctioned resolutions on North Korea. The Presidential National Security Office sees the Sri Lankan president's state visit as part of expanding the reach of South Korea's diplomacy. President Sirisena's visit to Korea will establish the foundation for the Korean government's new southern policy of pursuing peace and prosperity within the region, and will contribute to broadening Seoul's diplomatic horizon beyond Northeast Asia to Southwest Asia. According to the Blue House, President Sirisena will pay a visit to the National Cemetery on Wednesday morning. He will then be greeted by President Moon Jae-in at the Blue House. They will hold a summit meeting and sign key agreements and MOUs. President Moon will also host a state dinner in honor of his visiting Sri Lankan counterpart. President Sirisena is the third state guest to visit the country since President Moon Jae-in took office in May. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.